Hi all, welcome to CS4 in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to authenticate our source org with our target org. So in the previous video, we created consumer key and consumer secret in the target org. And then we made this available to any source org that wants to connect. So if you check out in the previous video, we had consumer key in the consumer secret. Uh, we have created a connected app and you can access this consumer key and consumer secret by clicking on this button. Now, as soon as we are going to click on this button, I'm going to get a code. Okay, the code is okay, so this is the consumer key and the consumer secret of our target org. Now, inside the Chrome, I'm logged in in, uh, in the target org and inside the Edge, I'm logged in inside the source org, right? So what I want to do is right now, I want to authenticate the source org with the target org. And as you can see inside the connected apps, I have consumer key and consumer secret available. Now, all I need to do is I need to put those consumer key and consumer secret inside my source org and authenticate with my target org. Now to do that, what I need to do is I need to create an auth provider in our source org. I'm going to first of all provider type. It asks about provider type with which kind of auth of application we are going to integrate. So now right now we are integrating with Salesforce. The same way you can integrate with MuleSoft as well. And if you want to connect with Zoom, you can go with OpenID Connect. But right now, we want to integrate with Salesforce. That's why I'm going to select Salesforce. Next, it's asking me the name of the auth provider. Okay, I'm going to name it as Salesforce to Salesforce Integ. And the name is automatically populated. This is where I'm going to populate the consumer key and consumer secret, right? So from the target org. So if you go, I have consumer key, paste it. Same way, we can have consumer secret. Paste it. And we need to provide the endpoint URL, authorize, and token. And that is nothing but next we have to provide the default scope. Now, this defines this default scope actually defines the type of the data the relying party can, re relying party can request. So, what our source org will request from the target org, that's what we are going to define inside the default scope. Right now, I'm going to provide full because we want the full access. So our auth provider is created and as soon as you click on save our auth provider is created successfully next i'm going to store the name credentials name credentials are basically used in order to store the endpoint url in our case the endpoint url is our target org first thing and it is also used to store the authentication parameter now if i have to pull the data from the target org I need to log in at least I need to authenticate once and then I need to pull the data. So to do that to store the authentication parameter and the endpoint URL we use name credentials. So I'm going to create a new legacy. SF name cred. Name is populated and in our case the endpoint URL is this. This is our base endpoint URL that is the target org endpoint URL. Now once that is done, there is different kinds of identity type. So there are three types of the identity type, anonymous, per user and name principal, right? Anonymous means there is no need of authentication. In case if you don't need any kind of authentication, that's where we select the identity type as anonymous. If you have to use different sets of credential for each user, okay, each user will have a different sets of credentials. In that cases, we select per user. So each set who is each set uh, each user each set of user who is going to access the resources from the external resources we need different sets of credential that's where we use go with per user the third one is name principle now according to this name principle same set of credentials will be applicable for all the user who are trying to access the data from the external services right now in our case it's target org so i'm going to select name principle and then we have to select the authentication protocol we are using OAuth 2.0, so that's why I'm going to select OAuth 2.0. And next, it's asking me the authentication provider. 
so basically wherever we store the uh, consumer key and consumer secret those authentication protocols providers we are we have to provide over here so in our case it was salesforce to salesforce intake right now once this is done as soon as i'm going to click on save it's going to redirect me to this or uh, it's going to redirect me to this url to authenticate okay if i'm going to click on save okay okay this is also one of the errors. okay so this is the error you get when you do not provide the callback url so i'll explain you what how it why am i getting this error exactly so if i go to auth provider in salesforce to salesforce integration so there is a callback url as we can see there is a callback url i need to provide this callback url inside my connected app that is tar targets or connected app so you copy this callback url first and then put this inside your connected app so right now i have a connected app if you remember in the previous video i added any any url as a callback url but we have to add a proper callback url so this is our callback url for this authentication provider now once that is done save it and continue so now you can again go to named credentials and we do have one i'm going to click on edit and then okay everything is fine if i click on save i will be automatically redirected to my uh, for authentication so i uh, basically i need to from source org i will be authenticating so from the source org i will be authenticating to the target org okay i'm still facing the issue So as you can see, as soon as I have logged in, I have click, clicked on save of name credentials, I was redirected to the URL. Now in this URL, you need to log in to your target org. So that's what you are trying to authenticate. So I'll take the username of my target org. So this is the username of my target org and from the source org I'm going to put this and the password so once I clicked on login now my source org as soon as I'm clicking on login my source org and my destination that is nothing but my target org are authenticated successfully now I'll be exposing the resources from my target org and I'll be making callouts from the source org to the target org which we are going to look into the next video now, if you found this video helpful and you were able to understand how we do authentication using OAuth 2.0 and how to use auth providers and name credentials to uh, authenticate once and then access resources all the time if you found this video helpful please do subscribe to our channel